When you activate your family's natural born talents and you get them learning through their switches, you can begin to intentionally shine the spotlight on the third key element to unlocking your family's growth potential, which is skill set. Knowing the relevant skill sets, knowledge base and capabilities needed to express the natural born talents of your family is a game changer. It enables you all to really focus in on becoming masters of your craft. And having mastery learning within your vision for your family allows you to play the long game by creating a culture that fosters excellence. To become excellent at something, it takes time and persistence. It requires you to explore and find your authentic expression and to learn to navigate obstacles that stand in your way. You'll also need your family to focus on process and celebrate the micro wins along the way rather than rushing to get to the outcome. I grew up seeing a poster in my dad's garden office that now I have in mine and it reads, Every job is a portrait of the person who did it. Autograph your work with excellence. And on top of this, my dad used to say, Julia, it doesn't take a lot to stand out from the crowd. Use your initiative and persist, persist, persist. And he was right. It really doesn't take much for your family to stand out from the crowd, if that is what you want. Most people will never fulfill on their potential. They will give up right at the crucial moment where the next level growth is about to be activated because it feels uncomfortable and less than lights on. And this is why we have such high levels of disengagement within our schools and workplaces. Because people don't step into their potential, they're not getting the compound effect of the neurochemicals that make us feel good when we experience post-struggle success. Developing your family's learning mindset through what they love to do focuses your growth in an area where they have a natural tendency towards being able to achieve excellence. This gives them something to feel proud about and fuels further growth. So once you know what your family of learners loves, you can look at the set of skills you need to focus on and develop over time to explore and express your truest potential. Do you have the knowledge you need? How big is the gap between your current ability and what you need to master to achieve your goals and your vision? What are you good at naturally that if we went all in to work together over, over time, you can become great at it? This is how I love to work with children, teens or adults, focusing on growth that shifts the dial and less time on trying to plug your weaknesses. No one wants you on their team because of what you can't do. They want you because of what you're brilliant at doing. And if you don't know what that is, then how can you expect to fulfill on your potential and feel purpose in life? You can't. When you lead your family in this way, you can begin to achieve extraordinary things together. We have an equation in our lights on world, which is ordinary me, Plus ordinary you times opportunity equals something extraordinary. Having your vision dialed into creating something extraordinary within your family changes everything. It means you never settle for anything less. So I hope this series has helped you see that the power of learning in a light some way is not what can you achieve on your own, which will always be limited, but what can you achieve by learning and playing alongside others. So this is a wrap to this five part video series and if you focus on creating a culture of learning and growth, invest in your role as a leader, bringing all three key elements, heart set, mindset and skill set into alignment, then you have one powerful educational strategy that will unleash your family's potential of natural born talents. And when you do all of this, you will absolutely know, hand on heart, that you are leading your family to have what it takes to live an abundant life, learning what they love and loving what they learn and from that place anything becomes possible. I hope you're excited to explore more about how to become a Lights On family and if you have any questions please do get in touch. Here's to switching on your family's lights.